fifth grade, welcome back to Grammar. This video is for May 6th. Today we're going to start chapter 15, more about sentences. But before we do that, I want to read some more verses to you from Matthew chapter 6. This is verse 27. And which of you, by being anxious, can add a single hour to his lifespan? And why are you anxious about clothing? Consider the lilies of the field, how they grow. They neither toil nor spin. Yet I tell you, even Solomon in all his glory was not arrayed like one of these. But if God so clothes the grass of the field, which today is alive and tomorrow is thrown into the oven, will he not much more clothe you, O you of little faith? And so this is just a reminder about how much God loves us and will take care of us. If he cares about the grass of the field and the flowers and he has them, looking so beautiful, of course he's going to take care of us and provide for us. And we don't need to worry about things like clothing and, and other earthly things that might sometimes make us really anxious and worried. We just need to trust in him and know that he cares for us. So I hope that's encouraging to you today. So we're going to, as I said, go on with chapter 15 more about sentences, and we're going to be looking at prepositions. I know we've done some work with prepositions already this year, but we're going to go into that a little bit more in depth in this chapter. And so remember, the definition of a preposition is that it shows the relationship between a noun or a pronoun and other words in the sentence. So if you'll look in your book on page 355, you'll find the list of prepositions. So it'd be good to go back over that page as we're going through this chapter. And one thing that um, I've used before to try to help students understand prepositions and remember them is the illustration of a rabbit and a box. So I have a little stuffed rabbit here and I have a box and anything that this rabbit can do to the box is a preposition. So if we say the rabbit is in the box, in is a preposition. It shows the relationship between the rabbit and the box. Let me get the lid back on here. Okay. All right, not being cooperative. There we go. All right, now the rabbit is on the box. So on is a preposition, there we go. The rabbit is beside the box. Beside is a preposition. The rabbit is under the box. Under is a preposition. The rabbit is near the box. So you understand, you get the idea. So those words are showing relationship between the rabbit and the box. Another illustration that I've heard used sometimes is a bird in a birdhouse. The bird can fly into the birdhouse. The bird can fly over the birdhouse, around the birdhouse. So again, these are just uh, illustrations to help maybe trigger this in your mind and um, help you understand it a little bit better. So think about that rabbit in the box or the bird in the birdhouse to help you remember prepositions. So um, we're going to look at some sentences and we're going to see if we can find the preposition in the sentence. So number one, the pharaohs was a tall lighthouse in Egypt. Let me grab my marker, sorry. All right, what's the preposition here? In, right. Okay, number two, thousands of slaves labored over 20 years in the construction of the pharaohs. Okay, there's four here, do you see them all? Right, of, over, in and of again. And so in chapter 15, we're going to be learning about different monuments and landmarks. And this was one in ancient Egypt. And number three, when it was destroyed, a medieval fort was built in the same place. Right, in is the preposition here. Okay, very good. So two prepositions that we need to be really careful about and make sure that we use correctly are the prepositions between and among. We use between when we're talking about two things and we use among when we're talking about more than two. 
So for example, I could say, I am be deciding between a chocolate milkshake and a strawberry milkshake. Am I making you hungry? Sorry. <laughs> so that would be a correct way to use between because we're talking about two things. We're deciding between a chocolate milkshake and a strawberry milkshake. I think I would pick the strawberry if I was choosing. All right, and then for among, I could say, Jesse is deciding between a chocolate milkshake, an ice cream cone, and an ice cream sundae. Now, I didn't read that correctly. Did you catch it? I should have said, be, I should have said among instead of between, right? Okay, so let me try it the right way. Jesse is deciding among a chocolate milkshake, an ice cream cone, and an ice cream sundae. Wow, that would be a tough choice. All of those sound really good. So we use among when it's more than two, we use between when it's two. So now we're going to check the cumulative review that you did last time, and then we'll go on with today's workbook pages. Okay, let's take a look at the chapter 13 cumulative review that you did last time, workbook pages 249 and 250. Part A, you were supposed to fill in the circle next to the correct answer. Number one was fiction, two, title, author, subject, three, alphabetically by the person's last name, and four, nonfiction. Part B, you had to write the letter of the correct answer in the blank. Number five was B, six, A, seven, B. And then part C, you had to replace the underlying words with a possessive pronoun. Number eight, there. Number nine, ours. 10, hers. And then for number 11, either his, her, or its would have fit in that sentence. So any one of those would have been correct. And then part D, you had to underline the reflexive pronoun that correctly completes each sentence. Number 12, itself. 13, ourselves. 14, yourselves. 15, himself, 16, herself, and 17, ourselves. Go ahead and pause the video if you need to go back or rewind and look at any of these for a little bit longer. Take your time. That's perfectly fine. Okay. Next part, letter E. You had to underline the subject once and the helping verb twice. 18, dog, will. 19, dachshunds are, 20, retriever has, 21, beagle was, 22, terriers were, 23, show is, 24, judges have. And then the last part, letter F, you had to use the correct form of the helping verb. And so, or excuse me, of the verb, correct form of the verb. Number 25, ridden, 26, caught, 27, 8, 28, given, 29, taken, and 30, runs. All right, let's go on now to today's workbook page, which is 269. So we're in chapter 15. We have skipped chapter 14 because we needed to move on to another chapter that had more to do with parts of speech and more sentence structure. And so we're in chapter 15. So take a look at the top of page 269. It says a preposition shows the relationship between a noun or a pronoun, the object of the preposition, and other words in the sentence. The preposition always comes before the noun or pronoun there can be more than one preposition in a sentence, but not all sentences have prepositions. So look at our examples here. The pharaohs of ancient Egypt built pyramids. The pyramids of Giza were built thousands of years ago. So of, at, of. The preposition between is used with two things, like we talked about just a couple minutes ago. The preposition among is used with more than two. Egypt is located between the Mediterranean Sea and the Red Sea. The pyramids in Egypt are among the most famous in the world. 
So again, just to review what I showed you before, um, the prepositions are in your book. Let me turn there really quickly. And I don't know if you can see the whole list, but you can see some of them, but take out your book or go back in your book, I should say, and look at that page, page 355, and it shows you all of the prepositions. Okay, so for the guided practice, they want us to underline the prepositions in the sentences, seeing that it tells you right here. Some sentences do not have prepositions. See page 355 in the grammar handbook for a list of common prepositions. Okay, number one, the most famous pyramids in Egypt were built on the plateau of Giza. All right, so our prepositions in this sentence are in, on, and of. All right, remember the rabbit can be in the box, on the box. Number two, rabbit can't be of the box, so it doesn't work for all of them, but it works for a lot of them. Number two, there are three pyramids and a large statue called the Sphinx. Do you see any prepositions in that sentence? No, you're right, there aren't any. Okay, let's move on. Number three, the Sphinx has the head of a man on the body of a lion. Do you see them? Yep, here we go, of, on, of. Number four, Khufu built the Great Pyramid around 2560 BC. So do you see anything there? Mm-hmm, around, you're right. Number five, it was the tallest structure for more than 2,000 years. Okay, good, four is the preposition. Number six, a tall lighthouse called the Pharos was built in Alexandria. In, we have the preposition in, don't we? Okay. Number seven, after the fall of the pharaohs, the Great Pyramid was the tallest building once again. Okay, we have the preposition after and of. Number eight, however, the Great Pyramid was 30 feet shorter than the pharaohs. Any prepositions there? Nope, All right. Number nine, the Great Pyramid remained the tallest building until A.D. 1880. Yes, until. Okay, so go back and make sure that you found all of the prepositions in those sentences. Next, they want you to write prepositions from the word bank to complete the sentence, and it says to use each preposition once. So we can only use each one one time. Number 10, the pyramids in Egypt were built blank 2700 BC and 1700 BC. So would we say after, among, between, in, or of? Right, between, we're talking about two dates. It happened between these years. Number 11, ancient Egypt believed blank life, blank death. Okay, right, believed in life after death. Number 12, the Pharaoh was buried blank his many treasures. Yes, among. He had all these treasures around him when he was buried. 13, the pyramid was the Pharaoh's palace, blank, the afterlife. We only have one word left, right? Of. Okay, so as Christians, we believe in life after death too, don't we? But we know that we'll spend that part of our lives or after our death, we'll spend that in eternity with Jesus. But the Pharaoh 
had all these things around him, but that didn't do him any good, did it? All right, let's keep going. So you're gonna do this page, page 270 on your own. They want you to underline the 17 prepositions in the paragraphs. So look for 17 prepositions. And if you want to, you can make little tick marks off to the side to count them down as you find them, but you should find 17. And then the next part, they want you to write a preposition from the word bank to complete each sentence. It doesn't say that you can only use them once, but try to use as many of them as you can. And then um, the next part, fill in the circle next to the sentence that is written correctly. So read them carefully and choose between the words between and among. <laughs> And then the last part, apply and write, write a sentence telling the location of an item in your house by using the preposition between. All right, go ahead and finish up page 270 and then we'll check it next time. Thanks for watching this video and thanks for working hard and doing a great job.